Hello everyone, I'm Farmer Sim. Welcome to Farming Simulator 25. The wait is over everyone. Today is game release day, 12th of November. And welcome to my new series, my new Let's Play here on Riverbend Springs. Now this is really quite a beautiful map. I've been very excited to get into this map, I must admit. Uh, obviously I know Zelonka is a beauty as well. We'll be doing something with that at some point in the future perhaps. Uh, and Hooten Pantai is definitely a corker as well, and I've got something planned for that into the near future, but I've really been very keen to get onto this uh, Riverbend Springs. It really did uh, get me quite excited, get my creative juices flowing as it were. So I have uh, created myself a bit of a farm. We're over on the east side of the map here. I'll bring up the map PDA in a few moments time, uh, but the standard farm that sits here, I've removed a few of the buildings and placed down a few of the, uh, just a few of my own as it were. Now it's all base game stuff, of course, as you probably familiar with um we don't really have many mods in the mod hub at all there's a handful of uh, bits and bobs that giants have released uh today on the mod hub uh, but everything that we have to play with is obviously base game but I, I tell you what though i am looking forward to a few mods hopefully we'll get things like the place anywhere and the uh placeable extended and all that kind of stuff because there's been a few restrictions down here in the in the uh, construction menu but it's all good still been getting familiar with it that's all that matters but yeah New game, everyone. Exciting stuff. So, we've got this big barn here that's got a few bits of equipment in. And we've got uh, another barn up there, which is it's kind of the same on this plot anyway, on the map. Uh, that barn does exist up here, but it's got a big boat in it and you can't really do much with it. The kind of space is taken up inside it, so I deleted it and placed down this empty one. So that I can put my own equipment in. Uh, we have a farm silo over here. It's a silo and an extension that has a, a total capacity of 250,000 litres, including its silo extension. So hopefully we'll be uh, getting a few crops in there very, very soon. But yeah, as you can see, we have $20,000 in the bank. Uh, I do always play on, uh, diff on uh, hard economic difficulty. So uh, we've got that set to that to hard. We've got one day months at the minute. We may well change that into the future. We'll see how things go. Uh, and we have ourselves, we've got essentially two proper fields and one area of grass so we've got this field of wheat which is ready to harvest which we'll be getting into very very soon just over into the distance there we have a slightly smaller field of sunflowers that is currently still growing and will be ready to harvest in the coming next couple of months and over behind me over here into the distance just on the other side of the road over there we have an empty plot of land which isn't actually a designated field but we do own it uh, and it currently obviously just has grass in it so we're going to be getting down to potentially a little bit of silage work there to get a little bit more money into the bank. Um, yeah, there's no, actually, like I said, there's no defined field there, but uh, we'll do something with it. Get that grass cut, get it rowed up, get it baled up and wrapped and uh, get all the bales picked up and get it fired over to the, uh, to the biogas plant at some point very soon. We may well get into that today. Uh, but for now, very quickly, I shall show you around the uh, few bits of equipment that we have. We don't have very much, but we've just I think we've just got the, the basics of what we need. So what we have first and foremost in the shed here is our one and only tractor. So this is our white 8810 or Agco, I think it is. Uh, yep, yeah, it's a lovely thing. Really quite capable so far anyway. I've not done a huge amount with it, obviously. I've not done any field work with it. I've just been going back and to to the shop, picking up all the bits of equipment. Um, we have ourselves the Coon Venter Cedar here. When we get drilling in the fields, we've got our Samaz uh, Z2840 windrower here. And that's pretty much it for what we've got in this shed. As I said, we've got very few, but just enough to crack on with. Now, this is a new brand that we've got in Farming Simulator 25. We have the Treffler TGA 560 cultivator. Um, so, And that has a working width of just over 5 metres, I think it is. 5.2 or 5.6, I think, off the top of my head. So, yeah, we've got that. We are going to be needing a plough at some point soon as well, but uh, we'll get into that shortly. Here we have our tally handler with our bale grab, our Merlot MF44.9. Really nice bit of kit here. And I suppose none of us are unfamiliar with the FarmTech low loader trailer here for sticking my bales on. Over here we have our Flegel Gigant trailer, grain trailer, which we'll be using very shortly as well. Again, I'm sure we're all very, very familiar with that. And in the shed here, we've got a couple of bits of equipment. We have our Samaz mower, the XT390. Uh, we have our Case 7150 harvester. And it's accompanying grain header. So it's not too much of a big one, this. The 302025. So yeah, we'll be uh, cracking on with that very, very soon. 
But yeah, so that's pretty much a very brief introduction to what we've got down here on the farm. The plot of land and what we've got. Now, we don't have any animals yet. I haven't been able to figure out a nice place to place them yet. So that's going to be something that we'll be uh, diving into in the future, of course. Because I'm hoping that I'm going to be running this Let's Play series for quite a long time. Uh, oh, and we do have a, 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 a jet washer over here as well. Uh, as I say, it was quite difficult to place these things uh, around here. There was a, It kept on just coming up with a, a message saying area restricted, uh, and that was happening all over the place, and it was the same story for painting and uh, just doing a bit of landscaping work as well. So as I said before, can't wait for the mods to come along, that's for sure. <laughs> so, as I say, that's a very, very brief introduction to what we've got and what we own and uh, what we're going to be cracking on with first. So I think initially what we're going to crack on with, we're going to get the wheat out of the ground because that's ready to harvest and we'll get that stuck into the silo. Now the little plan that I do have initially just regarding our fields, eventually anyway, uh, those of you who are familiar with my videos in the past know that I do like a big field. I do like to uh, get my custom work on and stuff. So what I think I plan on doing, we'll get this wheat out of the ground and then in a couple of months time when the sunflowers are ready to go, we'll get those out of the ground as well. And then we're going to join these two fields together and just increase its size and just make one nice big field there. And obviously when it comes to the grass field over there, we'll get the grass out of there potentially in today's episode. I'm not too sure yet. We'll see where it goes. But uh, yeah, we'll get the grass mown, get it bailed up, wrapped into silage, sold off to the biogas plant and get some money in the bank when it's all fermented, of course. And uh, yeah, we may well be uh, turning that into some kind of uh, field as well. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the loose plan so far for the start of the series. So no time like the present. We need to crack on. Now I've not had any experience whatsoever using the AI workers. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to carry on as I have been able to do back on Farm Sim 22 and put a bit of work with a bit of music behind and create a bit of a cinematic. But uh, yeah, got to get my head around the uh, AI workers and how to sort all that out. But obviously I don't have any course play or auto drive or any of that, so it's going to be a little bit different for a while making these videos, but it's all good. I'm very excited for it, that's all that matters. So, let's drop that header trailer there. Let's get our harvester unfolded. And get the header connected up. we go. Lovely stuff. We'll carve our way into the field now. Now let me just bring up the F1 menu and make sure I have straw swath enabled because we definitely want some straw. We need to make as much money as we can cracking on into the future. So let's drop that header down. Let's fire it up. We'll make a start and as I say I'm going to do my best. This will be my first little go at making a cinematic on Farm Sim 25 and hopefully I'll see you all in a wee while's time Yeah. 
it feels like love. Yeah! Right, here we go. This is the last of it. I've got my, uh, there we go. Perfect stuff. Now, I haven't quite totted up exactly what we've got in total yet, but give me a few minutes and we'll get this into the, uh, into the silo. We'll see what we've, uh, yielded off this field. But, one of the many little wonderful attention to detail that we have in Farm Sim 25 as opposed to 22. Now we all know about the ground deformation, but one of the little uh, features I didn't appreciate was obviously, I suppose you can call it straw deformation, I don't know, but obviously when you drive over your swaths of straw, they compress into the ground, as you'd naturally expect them to do when you've got several tons worth of machine driving over them. So I was just uh, I was just appreciating that as I was whizzing around getting that job sorted. So this game is just wonderful. It really is going to be an absolute corker, this one. So. I'm not going to make it round in a circle there, so let's go tip this into the silo. I think I can get round here if I'm careful enough. There we go. Right. So there we go. That should be us about there. That'll do nicely. Get that tipped in. A little bit off there, but it's still still registered. So, numbers ticking over in the bottom right-hand corner there. 53,473 litres. Not bad at all, if I don't say so myself. Now, one of the wonderful things I'm very grateful for um, is one of the mods that I do have installed on my game is a pre-release version of Time Saving Stock Check. A massive thank you to Mark Haythornthwaite of TW Productions for sending me this ahead of, uh, ahead of release, like a bit of a... Bit of a test mule version of it, I suppose, but as you can see there, 53,473 litres. Current price, $281 per 1,000 litres. Best price, 407 So it's uh, well worth waiting. Current price, value, 15078 but max value, 21804 and that's in January. So, all good. Oh, and there's a feature that I haven't uh, haven't been used to for a while. Uh, we're now down at, down to £18,649 because I've been, uh, I always tend to turn my course play and auto drive workers' wages off because I pretend that I'm doing them myself kind of thing. But yeah, doesn't seem I can do that now, can I? I haven't actually explored whether there's an AI worker wage reduction or not, but uh, maybe I'll have a dive into that. One of the other things I've noticed, and I don't know whether I'm missing something or not, but we haven't actually got anything, any weather reporting or anything, have we? I did have a quick flick through the menus previously, but I can't seem to find any reference to weather. 
like we did. We've got obviously we've got our crop calendar. Um but yeah, there's uh there's our animal pens, here's our contracts, here's our production chains available. Obviously time saving stock check. We have our vehicles and then settings. And obviously I've been through those bits and bobs and there's no option to see what weather we've got coming. So at the minute we're sunny. That's all that matters, I guess. <laughs> um, but, anyway. Right, let's turn this one off. Let's get ourselves back into the harvester. Get it all folded up. We'll get this one tucked away for now. We'll get the header taken off, and then we shall crack on with bailing up this straw. Because I must admit, before uh, before jumping into this job, planning on what we we're going to be doing in today's episode I had a plan that we might be going over and doing that silage work over there getting that grass mowed up but I think for now we need to concentrate on this field get one field done before the other so we'll be uh, hitching up the baler oh, I didn't actually show you that before did I forgive me do you know what when I was showing you around the equipment yeah, we've got a round baler, our John Deere C441R, which does have a the wrapping function, of course, built in, and does all, does also have the uh, the up ender that for, for turning the bales onto their end when they've been through the machine. I forgot to show you that one, didn't I? <laughs> so yeah, we'll be uh, hitching that up in a few moments' time and get this straw picked up. Now we will probably initially just thinking on my feet i think we'll probably sell the straw bales for now because obviously we don't have any animals at the minute we don't have any need for the straw so i think it would be beneficial until we uh, get ourselves a little bit more established and with a bit more money in the bank just to sell it and go from there knowing my luck i'll probably live to regret that and i'll uh, suddenly need straw in the near future but you know what we'll be fine i'm sure so let's relatively tidily stash that away in there turn that off there we go lovely stuff could do with a wash of course i do have a jet washer but for now we're going to carry on with the work so i think what i'm going to do with this one we'll probably pop this one into a bit of a time lapse because uh, obviously I can, I'm, I'm unaware if i can get the uh, ai workers to uh, do the straw baling at the minute whether they'll recognize the swaths or not i'm not too sure still need a bit of practice with all that so i think i'll uh, i'll do this one on my own let's just disconnect that trailer for now leave it there hook up our baler and see what we get from all this shall we right so much as before I'll stick a bit of music behind this job. Let's drop that uh, pickup down. Turn it on. Lovely stuff. Right. Let's get ourselves some straw.
the bailing done, but we've got to get him picked up now. That's the job that's going to take a while, because obviously like I said before, we have no mods, there are no auto load, universal auto load, there's no super strength none of that, it's all got to be done properly and that's going to take a while, but I need the practice quite clearly, I've been relying on automation and all that kind of stuff for too long now <laughs> but we didn't do too bad from that field we got 44 bales 5,000 litres of bale gives us 220,000 litres of straw. So, what I think I'm going to do, um, there's only a couple of grand in the difference between the price we can get for them now and the price we can get if we waited till January at the best sell time. So, all in all, according to the wonderful time saving stock check, they're currently worth just under 8 grand, about 7,500, 7,600 or so. So, this is going to take me a little bit of time. I'm uh, far from a dab hand with the old telehandler and the bale grab, so... We'll drop the trailer off here, and I'll pick you up in a wee while's time when I've got them all picked up out the field. And we're making our way over to what I think is going to be the best sell point, is the farmer's market, so we've got to find that first as well. There we go number one <laughs> but I think it's going to be better if I at least double stack them about right there we go there we go so I'll pick you up in a wee while's time Well, I didn't think I'd get all 44 bales on that trailer, that's for sure. But I have done. <laughs> quite chuffed with that, quite frankly. Now, I did ponder over whether I should tow the trailer with the tractor or not, but I'll uh, give this thing a run for its money. But what I actually want to do as well is uh, jump very quickly into the map. Uh, now, the farmer's market, I believe, is that one. So we're going to test, test out the new destination tagging system in the game so instead of having that big green tower that we were used to in farm sim 22 we've now got just that pointer that's in the distance to head to there and it just it counts down in meters now i don't think we want to be going that way it's uh this one here i think we want to be taking 
Now I am going to take it very carefully because the last thing I want to do is topple this trailer. I was very successful in that loading. I didn't knock any of them over, mainly because I did as I as I stacked them on the trailer in a stack of four in a row. I'd then strap each one on to make sure that they didn't fall off when I came along with the next load. But yeah, for me, I'm quite chuffed with that. <laughs> but I still need to be careful because I don't want to topple the whole convoy over. Take a corner too tight. I've even uh, altered the steering mode of the telehandler just, just to front wheel steer at the minute, just to make sure that I don't steer around a corner too quickly or too sharply. Now I think we're heading in the right direction. I seem to remember the, the road bending round a bit, being a bit curvy up and down. But, yeah, somewhere up here I think. That looks like us. Now this is a nice feature on the map as well. Like I said before at the beginning of this video, this is a beautiful map with some really, really nice interesting features in. We've got that thing there. It's like a I don't know, don't know what it is actually. It's just like some kind of maze. It's not a maze maze though, it's a corn maze. Or a sunflower maze actually, isn't it? Sorry. And that as well, can you hear the noise of the tires on the gravel? How the noise actually changes. How cool is that? It's all these little attention to detail that we've got in the uh, in this version of the game now, ladies and gentlemen. And I think with this map, Giants have really outdone themselves, I feel. It's a real beauty. Right, so here we are. Now, we're not going to be getting a huge amount of money. I think we're going to be looking at about seven and a half grand, I think. So let's see what happens. Please unload. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. Does it not take from the bale? Oh my, right, okay. That's frustrating. Surely not. Oh, no way. Right, okay. I'm going to have to... Uh, oh, goodness me, of course, this is a... Uh, a dolly trolley, as it were. Can't not take from the bale. That's just not fair. <laughs> or am I getting the wrong point here? Let me just check here now. Let's have a look. So, right, I don't need to visit David. We don't need the lime station. That is the farmer's market. But let me just go into my game settings and turn on the interactive zone markers just to make sure. Oh, hang on. No, that's... Is that a sell point there? I'm going to try it because the last thing I want to do is have to unload these things manually. So you've got that sell point, that you've got that tip point there. And this must be it. This is a purchase point, isn't it? Oh no, there we go. Oh, thank goodness for that. Six, seven thousand four hundred, so nearly seven thousand five hundred uh, pounds, uh, dollars, sorry. Phew! That was a real relief. <laughs> I was gutted at the thought of having to unload those again. Goodness me. Right. Stress over. But what a lovely area this is up here. Check this out. It's just so full of detail really really authentic full of feeling and atmosphere wouldn't you say I love all these little models here these are cool aren't they it's like a kids climbing frame little play area and you can even tell the texture of the wood there and there wow that's pretty special that is that's awesome right okay so that's a little bit of the map that we've had a look at anyway, just a very tiny bit, so let's get back to the farm. And, uh, crack on from there. Alright, so we'll spin this round and just have it facing the way I had it before. OK, 
because I can't stand reversing these things. It's an absolute nightmare. And my bag of talent just isn't full enough, I'm afraid, for that one. <laughs> but there we go. So, I think it's been a relatively productive first episode, wouldn't you agree, ladies and gentlemen? We've had our first harvest. We've got a good chunk of uh, grain in the silo. Let me just remind myself what we've got in there. We've got 53,473 litres, so just over $21,000 worth. Just under $22,000 worth. In fact, it would be a little bit more accurate. Come January, anyway. And of course, as you've just seen, we've got all the straw picked up, bailed up, and we've sold them all. So now, at least we've now st we've we've finished the episode with more money than we started. So that's pretty good. If only every episode ended that way, eh? <laughs> but still, like I say, it's been a productive one, and I am thoroughly enjoying my time so far on Farming Simulator 25. So far, from what I've seen on here, this is a gorgeous map, and I cannot wait to delve in and get uh, get working on it in a lot more detail over a lot more time and in a lot more episodes so ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching this episode i do hope you have found it a little bit of fun and a little bit interesting uh, if any of you are interested in getting hold of farming simulator 25 and you like the idea of helping a content creator out and supporting the channel there are some links in the video description below with my giants partner promo code you can download the full game the year one season pass the mac don pack the new holland cr11 gold edition and the Farming Simulator 16-bit edition as well. So there are links for those uh, varying options in the video description below. Uh, I'm actually a tiny, tiny bit away from becoming a Giants bronze partner. Um, I think, I believe I narrowly missed the option, the uh, ability to, be, to, to go for the early access thing. I believe that's what bronze partner above um, allows you to do. So I'm uh, obviously I'm, don't get me wrong I'm not moaning I'm we're here now it's all good but uh, yeah narrowly missed that uh, thing there so anyway it is what it is but yeah if you like to, if you if you fancy the idea, the idea of supporting the channel uh, there are links in the video description below as I say for a handful of little bits and bobs so thank you very much everyone really do hope you have enjoyed the video and I shall catch you in the next one take care.